Chicken, no seasoning. Yes, sir. He be dabbing for no reason. He does. That's old. It's an old ass dance. Friend. Why you still do hey. that shit? Hey. He white. He just likes it. It's my favorite. Yeah, let's see. It's my favorite. Dab on it. It's my favorite. Police hey. coming hey. around. Hey. 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 No stop. It's credit score. I see the dab. Yeah. It's an easy dance. That's why you like it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. 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 Okay. That's because I'm easy. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Don't, don't, look, don't, don't get too stiff on the arm, though, because then I'm going to have to kick your ass. It's going to be real nasty. Like, hey, 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 hey. What up, 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 and it's Super Bowl week, man. Hey, That's why you hear that real. Let's go, Buccaneers. Athletic music is Super Bowl week. All right. Tom Brady has made the Super Bowl again. Wow. Without the Patriots and without Bill Belichick, that's right. Tom Brady has found himself at the Super Bowl once again with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And like the announcers say, you couldn't have scripted it wow. more better. And that's what we're asking. Is this bitch scripted? Is Man. Is is the Super Bowl rigged? I don't think so. Is the NFL rigged? Is is, is all this shit rigged? I don't think so. You don't think I so? I don't think so because take a look at this, okay? Tom Brady, like I just said, without the Patriots, without Bill Belichick as the coach, okay? Okay. You're seeing Buccaneers who? At the Super Bowl. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, when's the last time you seen the Buccaneers at the Super so Bowl? You, you, no, no, no. When's the last time y'all seen the Buccaneers at the Super Bowl? Buccaneers who at the Super Bowl? The last time. Okay. The, well, the Bucks have been in the Super Bowl in our lifetime. I know, I know that. Yes. I know that. I know they have been in the Super Bowl. But what I'm saying is that they haven't been in the Super Bowl for quite some for for a little bit. Okay. Right. And then Tom Brady comes on. Right. As their as their quarterback. Right. Where are they? They're in the At, Super Bowl. They're in the Super Bowl. Right. Against the Kansas City Chiefs. Right. So, All right. So, so, so what I'm saying is that it wasn't, if it was, if it was, if he was a, a, a real cheater or, a, a, or if it was rigged or whatever, why would he be going to the Super Bowl with a different team? <laughs> why I mean, would he? Why would they write the script like that? Uh, well, that's what I'm saying. There was no script that's written. He's a good so player. You, so he's you, just a great so player. So you're saying, as we start this episode, uh -huh. right? Because you said you sound very passionate about Tom. He's one. That's of the, your he's, man. He's one of the great. I, I, in my personal opinion, okay. I think he is an excellent quarterback. He's right. one of the greatest quarterbacks of our time. We have seen that. He has proven that. So we're we, watching uh, a living so legend. We're not, we're not. We're not watching cartoons on Sunday, are we? We're watching a living it's legend. Not like, right. It's live. It's live there, people. You watch Sunday football. You watch football on Sundays and Mondays and Thursdays, right? right, right. Okay, so okay, so you see it on the field. Okay, you see what he does. You see what he did in the in the championship in the uh, play, in the playoffs. So you're you are a viewer. You are a sports fan, man. Yeah, who, I, I've who, been getting who, into who, it. Who believes that sports are authentic and real? And I mean, I do, I do, I do feel like that. You know, but. You know me, I am what people say, <laughs> this dude is on both sides of the tracks because there, you have a train track, there's both sides to it. So then again, I have to, then, then again, I have thought about this is that, okay, look at the Vegas bets. Okay. Mm. There's a lot of money, mm. a lot of money in now the Vegas we, now bets. Now we're getting somewhere, okay. Marv. Now, cause, cause this is the thing. There's a lot when, of money in the Vegas. Hear, 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 hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Everything, okay. everything you were saying in the beginning, it was very passionate about Tom. You know, I love your enthusiasm for Tom Brady. Right, he's a good. He's a good. From what we see in his history, his track record, he has six Super Bowls. That's big. I give it up for that. Right. You know, one of one of hey. one of the guys that I one of the guys that I like in my lifetime. Give it up for him. Give it up for him. Because right. right now, the only other person you know I give props to like that is MJ. Okay. He yep. he went Jordan. He went six rings. Now he's going for seven, right? I'm a sports fan myself, right? I I, I like LeBron. I'm rooting for my man LeBron right. to to but, go. But and, you have and, to understand. But the thing is, is that no matter 
people like to say, oh, he acts like this, he acts like that. Da, da, da. One thing, you don't know that man, okay? You don't yeah. know any of these people, okay? So, right. so sit down, relax, and just watch your sports, okay? Right, right. And secondly is that the camera is not doing some camera trick so that people a lot in the stadium is seeing something different than people on TV. Everybody's seeing the same thing. Right. Basically. I mean, as, when, when, I mean, when, as far as it comes down to the game playing, right. the plays, right. you know, everybody's seeing the same thing. Right. So, if they either they do it or they eat. <laughs> either they score or they don't. Either they score or they don't. Did so, they score? Yes. All right. I'm with you. Hear me out. I'm okay. with you. Let me, because you, you ain't even let me get to the okay. root of my, okay. you, you let me get to the root of my, all I'm saying is I'm with you because I'm a LeBron fan. Okay, I, yeah. I, you know what we've saying? seen I'm a, LeBron. I'm a Jordan fan. It's a sport. We've seen it, Jordan. We've seen Jordan. We've seen. We've uh, seen all these great you know quarterbacks. What I'm we've seen Aaron great Rogers quarterbacks. Included. Yeah, yeah, Tom yeah, Aaron Brady. Rogers. Yeah, uh, Patty Ma- uh, um, Pat Mahomes, who's about to be. Patrick yeah, Mahomes. You know, the, Pat, uh, the, the, the Saints. Uh, um, Drew Brees. Drew Brees. You so, know? but this is what, all right, let's get to it. All right, the title of this episode is Tom Brady dot dot. No, Tom Brady again dot dot dot. Is the Super Bowl rig? Is it Super Bowl rig? Um, so for us to even answer that question, we got to analyze our sports rigged. Is it possible that sports are rigged? Now you brought up Vegas, right? And I think a lot of people, because me, like I said, I'm on both sides of the fence because I watch sports as a fan, like many of our viewers. You probably are at home, just like you're watching this, consuming this as a viewer and a fan. You watch sports as a fan. We get attached to these people. And, you know, um, out of the documentary we watched, we saw how once radio became a part of American history, Babe Ruth, you know, he was like one of the first American heroes. So sports people have been a part of the American culture, like, since the beginning of, you know, time. So, but there's one thing in history that's not talked about, but it is talked about in boxing. Uh, gambling and the mafia mm-hmm. and oh. un- un- underground money has always been a part of there we go there we go it's mm-hmm. always been a part of sports you right. know what I'm saying so when we look at um, the entertainment right mm-hmm. you know and these sports bets we got spreads right mm-hmm. like so we look at what's the spread for the Super Bowl game it looks like the spread is the Kansas City Chiefs minus 3.5, okay? So for those of you who don't know, if you're not into betting, when it says uh, a team is minus 3.5, that means they're giving Brady and the Buccaneers, they're giving them three points, right? Okay. To beat, They're giving them three points to beat the Chiefs by. So in order for, if you were putting $100 down on the game, right? Okay. For you to win. You have to be within three points. Well, it's saying that the Chiefs are going to win. It's saying if this says whatever team, if you're looking at a spreadsheet and it says like minus that team, minus seven or minus three, minus 14, it's saying that team's going to uh, win by that many points. Okay. All right. Okay. So um, it's saying 3.5. So basically they're giving bo- the Bucks 3.5 points um, in the beginning. Like they're in the beginning of the game, the Bucks are already up three because the Chiefs have okay. to beat them by 3.5. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So – Vegas got three point five. Now, all this money comes in. Da, da 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 da. All this money comes in. Now, if the Chiefs win by four points, right, and that would be like two safeties or something. If the or some some outfield goals match up, they win by four points. If you bet it on the Chiefs, you win. If Tampa, even if Tampa loses and it's like within the three points, you know you you will lose. You know what I mean? But, uh, but I'm saying, the, so here's my thing is that I, I think that, yes, gambling goes on. I think that gambling has gone on since the beginning of sports. Mm-hmm. Somewhere, you know, Fred, Fred, Fred and Joe, you know, behind the stadium, uh, I got, you know, five Always. bucks on Tony, da, 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 whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm sure gambling has gone on for since the beginning of time. Right. Okay. Right. But I think personally that, that the outcomes that, up here. I think that the outcomes are pure. I think that here's the thing. I think that the the gambling part 
and the performance on the field part are separate. So Ooh. that means that, yes, people are gambling on these teams and gambling on the outcomes, but shit, if you if you win money, great. If you lose money, well, you lost money. Well, but that has nothing... But but these players... Well, this, this are the not, thing, Marv, people this aren't going I'm going to have to, to stop to you Bill there. Belichick. Hold on. A, people aren't going to Bill Belichick and... and, 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 and at least I don't think so. And like, yo, yo, uh, Bill, you know, how, what pool do these do these people have that are betting on these teams? What do you mean, Vegas is Vegas? I know, it, I know it's we're Vegas. talking about a whole. Town. I know it has a pool, but what I'm saying is that, like, uh, are you telling me that? I just don't believe it's real. I just don't believe games so are this rigged. So this is what. Okay, that's just the first part of it. We're the talking, gambling and the, the performance so, on the field is separate. So we know that. Money's behind it. There's a lot of money. We got DraftKings, millions. Right. Bill, probably billions of dollars. But you got to think about it. Now just think, not just it. sports. Sports as a whole. Not just NFL. Right. Sports, sports as a whole. NBA. There's these sports going on all year. Horse. Uh-huh. Right. Gambling. The horse is everything. The derby. UFC. Boxing. All right? right. All this money. Billion dollar industry. Right. Now, how do you, I understand, understand. How do you, how would you control a game? Who's really in control at the end of the day of, the of these sports games? The owners. No, on that field. On that field Sunday, when we turn on our TVs to watch Super Bowl 55 in Tampa, Florida, who's controlling that game? The quarterbacks. No. Nope. The Who, players. No, yes. so, no, no, no. So, okay. You, talk, you said on the field. Let's break it down. Let's break it down, Marv. Let's break it down today. Okay, so you say the, the quarterback. Coach, the, the quarterback. Co- the, quarter, the coaches no, you said, and the players. So you said the quarterbacks. No, not the quarterbacks because the quarterback is getting to play from the offensive, offensive coordinator. Okay. All right? So, but if we want to get deeper than that, who run? who is running that fucking field? I'm saying owners. The referees. The referees. The, refs, the, oh. o- the officials. The officials. The little man. Woo! This blew his mind. You wow. see. You see when people look at this is the face of aha. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I forgot all about the referees. Everybody forgets about the referees. The referees. No, I mean that's true. But it, uh, but this, here's the thing. You know what? Yes, the referees, because everybody's like, "Oh, the refs threw the game." The refs, but do they really though? Are the do the refs really throw games like that? For what reason? To make money. So I'm I'm gonna bring. Uh, so are we gonna are we gonna look up every ref and see no, if they're millionaires? Just, no, no, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bring up a story. Okay. Of a, a NBA ref, his name was um, Tim uh, Donahue. Okay. And um, he was eleven years official, and he came oh, out. The last name sounds familiar. Actually. Yeah, he had he had a because uh, it probably sounded like Donahue. It was the guy that had that show, Phil Donahue. Or oh something yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah. But uh, he talked about how uh, some games were fixed, how they targeted some players. He talked about when he they targeted Allen Iverson because of his attitude. So you know. Uh, the refs had a thing about they would call more, you know, wouldn't call fouls for him and stuff like that. Um, but he did talk about keeping games, you know, because of certain spreads and things of that nature. Um, you know, so a he lot- talked about, he said basically, yeah, these games were fixed because of the spread of these spreads. I mean, have you ever seen the movie Blue Chips? Mm, not, I have not. It's an awesome movie. It's an old movie. It's an old classic. It's an old college basketball movie. And we're talking about the Super Bowl, but it, it all goes together. For what if we're talking about the rig part, okay. we, we got to talk. We can't just say one sport is rigged and there's it's not the possibility. Mm-hmm. And we're just saying the possibility. And I'm look. I'm a fan too. Am I going to be like mm-hmm. everybody else? Yeah. I'm gonna have my little fruit plate, my Super Bowl plate, and I'm probably gonna watch the game like everybody else at least for a little bit. You know what I mean? And I just I just don't think that. Um the players are are yeah are I think up. yeah I think some you know, players. I, I did say the I did say the quarterback because he's the one that has the the ball he has he's the one throwing it so yeah. if he throws a little bit to the left or throw, I mean he knows what he's doing he's in control of that ball 
Now, yeah, that's you know what that's what so, 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 so that's the reason I, I was like, okay, well, you got and the players are okay. They're gonna be like, oh, I'll trip right here. Well, I don't whatever. think. I mean, honestly, if I'm realistic but, about it, I don't think all players know. Like, it's a right. big cast of you know, yeah. saying actors. But, but yeah, but that's what I'm, I do think it's possible that the big big buck players may have a feeling. They may know if okay, let's say some shit like this happens, like. Okay. Um, certain situations if it's a certain situation all sports are situations right and the coach calls a ridiculous call in a crucial situation or sits a player in a crucial situation and they say or you know this or makes a dumb fourth and go and then they're making the other team puts the other team in good position or the referee calls a penalty and gives another you know we gotta mm-hmm. we forget about those penalties sometimes like sometimes the penalties make big news mm-hmm. right because it's the last play but we forget about all the penalties and giving five yards here and this and that throughout the game that just sets up we're not thinking about it right we're just viewing it you know right, but right. the official officiates the game he controls the game he could control the play if they wanted to call sure. a if they the announcers have said it before if they want to call a foul every play or if they want to call a holding penalty every play technically they could because that's it happens there's right. a penalty every play right so it's um it's possible I'm not saying that. I don't want nobody to watch this episode and just take the joy out of, but it's stuff that I've looked up into. Like, yeah. you know, there's one guy I follow. He talks about um, Germantria, you know, talking about people that, you know, uh, they go by a code uh, and the games oh, wow. are based off numbers. Like, you know. Yeah, wow. You know, I'm not all into that. But, I mean, you know. that's uh, interesting, you know, but uh, this this uh, article about this uh, referee in the NBA. I, you never heard it. You never knew it. You never I, uh, I might have heard something briefly about it but you know uh i just i just to be honest with you i really in the last couple of years have really paid attention you know to sports to sport more sports oh. you know especially i mean the, especially i kinda, in the nfl and i kind of knew that because at that time we were watching the game and you were like go football go football and yeah like, <laughs> go the football is going down the field yeah either Oh, oh! The player actually has to hold the ball. Right. Oh, when we were watching the game. He wasn't really mentioning no players and no oh. teams. He was just. I was like, like okay, go number twelve. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, but you're you're number you're, eight. You're into it. Yeah. You you are a Brady fan though. No, I, yeah, I, no, I have I have done my uh, my my research over the years. Right over the last couple of years, I you know getting more interested into you know into right. it uh, and you with the winner brady you know, i mean he's a winner you know right. what i'm saying because like, i used to work at the grocery store and so i i would work every football game so i really didn't right, pay attention right, right. to it but uh, now that i have more time more free time um you know you enjoy it so, again yeah so yeah. all right make it make your super bowl bet who are you putting your money on and mm. you got to consider the spread all right I'm going with the Buccaneers. Going with the Bucs. I think okay. Tom Brady is going to, and the Buccaneers are going to pull it off. Mm. I think they're going to do it. Um, oh, I think it's going to be a three-point game. You think it's going to be three on the dot? So you know, okay, I think it's Ve- it may go down in Vegas. If it's 3.5, it has to win. I but think it's going to be by a field goal or by – a two point conversion or by yeah because if, they, if Vegas be, keeps it to three if 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 it hits three like if they push it down to three and they only win by three because the good thing is like okay I'm going I, I think Tom Brady and the Bucks are gonna pull it off but I'm not I'm not I'm not uh, sleeping on Patrick Mahomes yeah here. that offense you know, is Chiefs unstoppable is, bro uh, the Chiefs are a great team a great. that's why they're in the Super Bowl Patrick Patrick Mahomes is a great quarterback right that's why he's there. And so uh, I think it's the young versus the old. And I think uh, it could go. You know, this is what I think happened. I think it could go one or two ways. Um, it could be just like LeBron switching teams mm-hmm. and um, you know winning a championship in a new state, and you know the older guy winning. So it could be the year of the old guys. I think Brady will win. Right. And um, but it could go to passing up the torch. And I think because Kansas City Chiefs, that offense is just credible. I can see them winning. Two years back to back, and you know, because not much has changed over there. Now, let me ask your opinion on this, though. 
So, what about when the Panthers made it to the Super Bowl and they played the, the Broncos? Yeah. It was uh, Peyton. Yeah. Peyton and uh, Cam. Peyton, Manning, and Cam. Yeah. Now, that was Peyton last year. Right. right? Right. That was like last year he was going out. So, did they want him to go out with a bang and be on top? Or I, I, I'm asking you, in your opinion. You do, sound like you. Uh, you sound like I'm you just convinced. The question. You sound like you convinced already. I mean, I'm just. I'm just asking now because here's the thing. I will say that that game. I was. I mean, they won. You know, the Broncos won, but I and the. A small portion of the back of my mind was like, mm, right. Mm, they there's want, been, they wanted him to go out. There's they wanted been, him to go out big. Right. There's been times in yeah. sports history that I can definitely look at, like, it's even like, even my man. Back and you're like, mm. Right. Even my man LeBron, like, when they lost to Dallas that year and then it was the first year with the Heat, you know, mm-hmm. it's like, there's no reason y'all should have lost. Right. There's no, there's no, right. even, and then even when he won, when they won the three P, a lot of people don't want to talk about this. When he came back with the Warriors, like that referee getting uh, Draymond Green kicked out for a game, like mm. that was like the perfect setup for him. So we don't know. It's entertainment. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's entertainment. Are you entertained? That's, that's what really right. matters. Yeah. If you're not entertained, you're not happy. You see, look, it, it's got to be done because sports had to go under the pandemic. So it's a big part of our culture. Mm-hmm. It's a big part of economics. You know, again, all the money that's behind sports. So, yeah. Um, I mean, it, you, you don't know where that money is going. At the end of the day. The I'm house. Kidding, everyday people, everyday people. The house always wins. Right. But what I'm saying, yeah. The but, house always wins. But then you also have to, okay, not only sports, but. You know, what else? What else is people? You know, big money, everything, right? So stock market. I mean, I I know people are betting on theater shows. You know, like oh, I think you know. Oh, you talk because I come from a theater back. You know, I'm a theater kid, and mm-hmm. I come from a theater background. But people aren't betting on you know theater performances well, or ooh, film performances. No, you know, you know that's becoming the thing though. But you know the Oscars. No, that's becoming. You know, no, there's yeah. becoming a game where you can invest on people's careers, like what? Yeah, you can invest what on is like this. Like if you believe the Rock is still going to be like a Hollywood star in the next five to ten years, we have to look it up. Okay, we have to look it up. But I literally I saw I, this the other day. I wonder if anybody's betting on us. In the next five years, right. me and my wife friend, Reggie Reggie Moore, right. going to be on billboards all Let over the Let us know. Place. If you're listening right now, how much would you put on us that we're going to be we gonna be the shit in the next, in the next five, five years? next five years. All right, go ahead and invest hey, five in. years is a long time. You know, we're doing our thing. So. Yeah, we do, we, we're doing pretty good right now. So, it's only going to right. get better. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's only going to get better. But let me say my pick. Um, okay, yeah. yeah. I'm a, if, if I Okay, how about this? I, I want to say Brady because I think he's going to get the same story as LeBron. But what if I pick the Chiefs? You want to do a friendly bet? That makes the sport fun. Friendly, friendly five? What's a, what's a friendly five? Friendly five? What's a friendly five on the Chiefs? And you got Brady. Uh, Come on, man. You, you the one believe it's the guys on. on the field. Is betting legal on there? It this is a fr- friendly five. This is a friendly five. Yeah, on there you see it. We'll talk friendly about it. Friendly five. I got the Chiefs. I got the Buccaneers. Friendly five hundred. We gonna see who. Oh, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Friendly five. <laughs> you believe in Brady, right? <laughs> five hundred dollars. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! I'm starting. Hey, all I know is all I all I'm I have is five five dollars. Oh yeah, that okay. We can do five. We can Let's do five dollars. Five, five, okay. We can uh, do five dollars. Yeah. I'm pump no, faking no for the. Money, I'm yeah. pump faking for the podcast. I'm pump. Yeah. I'm pump faking for the $500. listeners. Five hundred dollars. Nah, I'm pump faking for the listeners. Okay. But um, what we do have though, what if we, oh, we yes. may not got five hundred dollars. But if you are listening, if you are watching, in, I mean, if you're watching, definitely. <laughs> but what we do have. Or some merch from the Super Bowl. Hey, right that you can purchase. Look in the well, link Super Bowl our, merch. Super, uh, yeah, Super Bowl merch. Not from the Super Bowl, but just Super Bowl merch in general. We, we got, got Super Bowl we merch. Got, we got a little prize yeah, pack in our, in our link. We, below. We, I just don't want people to think it's like directly from the Super Bowl because it's not. I mean, it's, it's just Super, Super Bowl, Bowl merch. merch. Yeah, 
no, no, but you know what I'm saying, like from the actual game. You know how people think sometimes. Look, we got a 2021 <laughs> Super Bowl 55 commemorative. Okay, so it's a collectible right. Kansas City Chief versus the Tampa uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers football. It's a collectible. So. And the link will be in the description of the video. Yes, so check yes. that out. Please. Check the link out. Check it out. And this is one of those balls. It's the ones that they got like the smooth leather spot oh, with the logo yeah, I love on that. it. I mean, I might, I might, I'm gonna put the picture up right hey, here. Tell, so them, just, tell them one more time what it is. Well, yeah, yeah. hundred. Look, um, it's a 2021 Super Bowl commemorative football. I'm gonna put the picture right here. Okay, so, okay, so, so they can okay, see it. Okay, you know what I'm saying. And basically, uh, also for me because I'm hard of hearing. So tell yeah, me, nah. yeah. <laughs> we need to get it though. Look. It's a good collectible, Marv. You definitely should get it if you're a Brady fan. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to. I'm ordering right now. Because if Brady wins, yeah, if, if, Brady, if Brady wins, it's a big year for him because that'll be his seventh ring, right? And then if this is just a – this is the bubble Super Bowl. This is the one in a lifetime bubble Super Bowl. So right. you get this ball. You could probably sell this later on for some, some profit, right. you know, so – um, you know, check the link out for that, and then we also got Super Bowl player mask. So, in our link, we got a link and get you a Super Bowl mask right. with whoever your favorite player is. Light face mask, hundred percent polyester player mask. The one in the link is Tyreek Hill, who is one of the stars, the star receiver hey, on the Chiefs. I'm ordering that right now. You're gonna, so you're a Tom Brady fan, but you're gonna order a Tyreek Hill mask. I'm just trying to support the calls, man. Look, well, get the click on the mask and then find the Tom Brady one. You can I'm get, going to. You can get any player you want. Just use our link to go through there. Um, get your player mask because also that's being get safe. Get your football. Yeah, get your, get, get your football. And, um, and enjoy the game. And if you are having Super Bowl parties or whatever, um, you know, be safe. Wear a mask. Be safe, yeah. Six Only, feet apart. Yeah, try to get with people. Don't double dip. Yeah, yeah, you know, no double dipping on that. Don't, you know, uh, the beer pong, the beer bong, leave that alone. Yeah, no beer pong this year. Yeah, you you know, know what I'm saying? So, like, um, you know, you know, so. be safe. Um, and and then after the game, go to YouTube, type in me and my white friend. That's all you got. If do. you haven't watched season one, go watch season one. Yep. And you haven't watched all our podcasts, go watch all our podcasts. Right. We're on TikTok. We got skits. We got behind the scenes uh, footage. Also, don't forget, me and my wife friend moved to L.A. A new series coming out uh, later this year. You don't want to miss that. So. Yes, that will be coming out as soon. It's going to be so much fun. You get to see the real behind the scenes of everything that's been going right. on. Um, so look out for that. Follow us. Like, subscribe. If nobody told you today, we, we love, love you. you. Peace.